The Microchip MPLAB Integrated Programming Environment, or IPE, is a multi-platform NetBeans application that can be run independently to the MPLAB X IDE and which provides a simple interface to quickly access key programmer features for most microchip devices and programmers. The IPE provides many features that are not available in the IDE. However, since it is dedicated to just programming, it is quick to execute. The user interface can be configured and locked by the production manager, simplifying its use for operators on the production floor and ensuring that the production run settings cannot be inadvertently changed. The IPE can be used with the MPLAB ICD 3 and 4, the MPLAB PICKIT 3 and 4, the MPLAB PM3, the MPLAB Realice and licensed PCOB starter kits. The IPE is compatible with Microsoft Windows 7 or later, Linux and Mac OS X. Although the IPE is bundled with the MPLAB X IDE installer package, you do not need to install the IDE. Just ensure that the IPE is selected in the installer's setup screen. In advanced mode, all program operations and controls are available, but the production manager can regulate which features will be enabled and configure the settings that will apply in production mode. To enter advanced mode, select Settings Advanced Mode. This mode is protected by a password, which is initially microchip. When in this mode, the production manager should configure the controls for the production run in each option category shown on the left. The Operate options show a similar panel to that shown in production mode, allowing you to select the device and hex file. You can also connect to the programming tool and perform programming operations to verify the setup. Power options allow you to adjust the default operating and programming voltages, as well as other power-related controls. Memory options specify which memory locations are programmed or are preserved. Under settings are miscellaneous programming options. Note that additional settings appear in this panel if you are connected to a PICKIT 3 or 4 or an ICD 4. If you wish to use the Programmer to Go feature, currently available only with the PICKIT 3, load your hex file and set up the IPE as you wish. Confirm the programming speed, then click the Programmer to Go button, which opens a dialog allowing you to name the image and have it transferred to the PIC kit. The production controls allow you to restrict production operators from using features in production mode. You might, for example, restrict the import or export of hex files, which memory can be viewed, or the creation of reports. Disable memory erasure, verification or editing. Or limit the number of times programming is permitted. Click the Logout button to leave Advanced Mode. The settings you have specified will then apply to subsequent production mode operation. Rather than configure the IPE for each production run, you may choose to save a configuration into an environment file so that it can be reloaded whenever required. To save the current settings into an environment file, go to the Environment category when logged into Advanced Mode. Specify a name for your environment. Choose the .pm3 extension if you are using the MPLAB PM3 or the .pen extension for any other programmer. Enter a description to help you recall the situations to which the environment applies. You can choose to save the file onto your PC or onto an SD card for a PM3 programmer. You can browse a saved environment file by clicking the Browse Environments tab and opening the file. If you have restricted the importation of environment files in production mode, you'll need to load the desired environment for the production run before logging out. Serialized Quick Turn Programming, or SQTP, allows one or more memory locations to be programmed with unique data, in addition to programming the hex file. This data might be used at runtime as an ID number, password, or some other device-dependent property. If you are using this programming feature,
Consider the address and size for the serialized data and ensure this is compatible with your project code that accesses it. The data and their locations are stored in SQTP files. You can get the IPE to generate these in advanced mode. Click the SQTP button. Values can be generated that are random, random based on an initial seed, or sequential. Make sure you specify the device address, where you would like these values located, and the number of values to generate. For some devices, you can specify the memory space and alternate access methods for this data. Click Generate to create the SQTP file. The production operator must load the SQTP file when needed, but it can be specified as part of an environment if desired.